Welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how I built a complete leave approval system using only Google Sheets, Google Forms, App Script, and Google Calendar. No paid tools, no add-ons, just smart code. It's real-time, secure, and works on a free Google account. Here's the flow. An employee submits a leave request using a Google Form. The system checks and logs the submission, <clears throat> assigns approval or rejection links. The manager receives a personalized email with links to approve or reject. On clicking, the system updates the original record, modifies the employee's leave balance, and even creates a Google Calendar event. The employee is notified of the outcome, whether the manager approved or rejected his request. Let's see it in action. So uh, this is the leave application form. And before we do anything else, I want to show you how easy it is to add an employee. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to my employee database and I'll just add an employee saying John Doe is the name of the employee. And for the email of the employee, I'll just use my email address. Email of the manager, I'll use another email address for the spreadsheet id this is like a template spreadsheet that we have created i'll make a copy and i'll say this is john doe's employee sheet okay once i make a copy of this template sheet what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy its id I'm going to copy this spreadsheet's ID. And I'm going to put it in my employee database saying that for John Doe, this is the spreadsheet ID. The sheet name is the same. This is the sheet name. And then calendar ID, I'll just use mine calendar id for now so what will happen is for if we approve john doe's leave request his calendar will be marked saying that you know from this date to this date uh, it was approved okay so total leaves assigned let's say we have 15 leaves assigned for john doe and we leave the leaves granted and leaves balance column blank our automation system will automatically fill these in for John Doe, on the first record, I'll also put in over here that his lease balance is 50, just so that we can see a running total of the number of leaves balances. Okay. So the last thing we need to do is we need to add John Doe to our Google form. So I'll copy that name and I'll go to the edit version of the form. And I'll add that option on the form itself, that employee will appear. So I'll select now I'm John Doe and I'm going to request leave. I uh, need to travel and let's say I'm traveling from the 15th of June, from the 15th of June until the for the entire week let's say until the 20th so that would be one two three four five six days so i'll say must travel blah 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 you can put in any reason you want and then number of leave days i'm going to put in as six i can also put in five or whatever right so I'm going to say that I need six days of leave from the 15th to the 20th because of these reasons and I'll click on submit. Now, once I click on submit, an email will automatically be sent to the manager saying that please approve or reject. And it will have two buttons to approve or reject. And this will also be stored in the Google spreadsheet 
So you can see over here that John Doe uh, submitted a request saying need to travel. And the start date request is this, must travel, number of leave days. Now the admin can directly approve from here or deny from here. So these are the links from where the admin can approve or deny. Current status is that it is sent to the manager. And then there are no, like these things are blank because an action has not been taken yet. So uh, I'm just going to say approve for now. And when I click on approve and also on the email, I can see all the details that whatever the reason for leave is, whatever the description for leave is, and I can also see the leaves balance and the leaves granted. Okay, right now there is nothing there. So I can see that uh, number of leave days requested is six, total leaves assigned is 15. I'm going to say happy travels and I'm going to approve his lead, uh, approve his request. So once I approve the request, an email will be sent to the employee. So the employee ID was this saying that your manager approved the following request with the following comments, happy travels, and he approved. So the manager, uh, you know, this email automatically informs the employee that his leave request was approved. And now you can see that number of leave days were six. Now the leaves balance is nine. So we can also see this in our spreadsheet. The leaves balance has been updated to nine. And also in the employee database, we can see that 15 leaves were assigned after of which six were granted and the leaves balance is now nine. We can also see this in the employee spreadsheet a running total like 15 were assigned, six were granted. So the balance is now nine. Okay. And uh, so that was when you approve, right? Now, I also want to show you that the link expires once you have approved or denied the request. Once an action is taken, you can see that already approved or rejected. So it does not allow you to approve or reject again. Also in the spreadsheet, there was a link where the there were approval and denial links. They are no longer there because the status is now approved and the approved comment is that, that one and approved or denied by the manager email and the leaves balance appears over there. Now, let me just quickly show you an example where the leave request is rejected. So I'll say John Doe and dummy request. And I'll say, oh, before I show you, uh, let me also show you that in the calendar, an event was created. John Doe on leave must travel. And uh, there are two events right now is because one event is for the employee. So the event is created on the employee calendar and another one, another event is created on a shared calendar that is shared with all your employees and all your team. So everybody can see that, okay, John Doe is on leave from this date to this date. Okay. So this is a customized system. We have built it as per the client requirements. We can build one as per your requirement. Uh, for this one, there was a requirement to create two events, one on the employee calendar and another one on a share calendar. So everybody can see that John Doe is on leave. Okay, let's get back to doing a reject request. So I'm going to say that from the 18th uh, and uh, I want to leave until the 25th and I'll just say test description on this one. And number of leave days, I will say 18th to 25th, or so seven days, okay? Click. Now, the reason for this one is that maybe there is a weekend in between. So that is not counted as a leave days. So that's why we have seven over here. Okay. So once this is submitted, you can see that an email was sent to the manager saying, please approve or reject. And uh, the manager is now being notified that number of leave days is seven, leaves granted is six, 15 leaves were assigned. And I'm going to do a reject for this one. So it will say you are about to reject the following request. 
Leaf's balance is currently nine and seven is asked for. So I'm just going to do not approved and I'll click on reject. Once I reject the request, uh, the what I want to show you is the leaves balance will remain nine because this was an approved, uh, this was a reject. In the employee database also, we can see that 15 were assigned, six was granted. So the leaves balance is nine. And also in the employee spreadsheet, we can see that this was rejected so 15 was the leaves balance, six was approved, seven was rejected. So the leaves balance right now is nine, okay? So it shows a running total for the employee for easy management. Um, and also like this event was not added on the Google Calendar if uh, the request is rejected. Uh, the system uses on-form submit to capture responses and uh, do get to process the links. Securely and app script to prevent duplicate approvals. Validate timestamps, map headers dynamically, push updates to separate employee sheets. Log everything securely and integrate with Google Calendar. We also update the leaves balance as shown and notify the employee via email. Why this system matters? This is great for HR teams, school admins, healthcare, or any team with limited software budgets, but high workflow needs. It's fully extensible. You could easily add Slack notifications, PDF receipts, or multi-level approvals. If you are tired of a spreadsheet chaos or repetitive admin tasks, I can help you automate your systems with Google tools. Reach out if you want tailored workflow like this one. Like, comment, and subscribe for more builds like this. Cheers.